Just now, our discussion is based on the independent source. In fact, it can also be expanded to the dependent sources. We explain it by example. For the voltage controlled current source, its controlling variable U1 is not in this subcircuit, but in the other parts of the circuit. About this subcircuit, we can write a KCL equation that is I equals 0.5 U1 plus 0.5 U. So if you take it as an independent current source, what correspondingly or corresponding equivalent subcircuit of the voltage source will write, it must be 2 ohm. This is a controlled voltage source whose direction should be left positive and right negative corresponding to this current direction. Its value is a product of these two, so it should be U1. We mark the same pulse voltage and current direction. So for this circuit, only one voltage can be written. In other words, U is equal to the negative U1 plus 2I. You look at that, are these two consistent? They are the same. So the two subcircuits are equivalent. Finally, we do a exercise which integrate all the contents of this lecture. We need to find the voltage U across a 5 ohm resistor. Firstly, we observe that the voltage source and the current source are serially connected here. What can it be equivalent from outside? Yes, only the current source. This is a serial connection of a voltage source and a resistor, but these are three subcircuits in parallel. Obviously, it should be equivalent to a parallel connection of a current source and a resistor. It's easy for further processing. So what should be the corresponding current source? It is 10 over 5 with upward direction. The corresponding resistance should be 5 ohm. We connect the two subcircuits together and connect them with a 5 ohm, which is not changed. Now we need to solve the circuit. For the circuit, there is a parallel connection of a 2 ampere current source and a 6 ampere current source. They can be equivalent to an 8 ampere current source from outside. Then it becomes 8 ampere supplies power to two parallel 5 ohm resistors. We need to find the U. For this point, we can use the current divider discussed in lecture 12. Obviously, this is 4 ampere and U equals 4 times 5 equals 20 volts. Then the solving of the problem is over. We need to emphasize one point before the end of this lecture. Let's look at this circuit, which have been changed from here to here. Then the two turns into this again. This becomes into that the original circuit's components have been changed, except for the 5 ohm resistor. It involves a problem which we call the relativity of the equivalence. The so-called equivalence must be equivalent for the external circuit. For n and n prime, their UI features are the same as they are equivalent for the external circuit, but for inside it's not necessary to be equivalent. Specifically for this exercise, the original circuit and the equivalent circuit, only the 5 ohm resistor hasn't been changed. That is to say, the 5 ohm resistor is the only one unchanged external circuit. Further, only the voltage and the current of the 5 ohm resistor is the original one. So for this circuit, other voltages and the currents have no direct relationship to the original ones. Of course, after finding other voltages and the currents here, we can calculate all voltages and the currents of the original circuit step by step backwardly. That's all for this lecture.